This is a Muscleman oil thermostat and today we're going to be doing an install and review to show you why this is one of the best cooling options for the N55 M2. What's going on guys? Kirk here from Motor Gear TV. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. And as I mentioned before, we're going to be doing an install and review on Muscleman oil thermostat. Now, just to give you guys a quick history of who Muscleman is, they've been in business for a long time, about 40 years. They're a specialist in BMW and mini parts, specifically performance parts made in Holland. And this one is going to be one of their more popular parts, in my opinion. And that's going to be their oil thermostat. Now, just to give you guys a quick glimpse of what it looks like, now, one of the main reasons why I went to Muscleman is really because of their reputation. You can just look on the quality of this piece and really see that they had a lot of attention to detail. Just from the machining, this is a solid piece of aluminum, really nice unit design, and it's gonna be a direct fit and replacement for your current oil thermostat. Now, one of the main advantages of running this unit in your car is that it's gonna keep your oil cooler for a longer period of time. Those of you who do have modified turbocharged BMW engines will especially know that these cars get really, really hot. Now, what's really cool and unique about their new design is that it's gonna open up much sooner than your standard oil thermostat. This one in particular opens up about 85 degrees Celsius and beyond that, it's gonna maintain the oil temperature of about 95 to about 105 degrees Celsius, which is really good to maintain more stable power longer. Now, in addition to being one of the best cooling options, it's actually one of the easiest to install as well and show you guys exactly what's included in the kit. Other than the unit itself, there's not really much to it. You're gonna have thermostat. Now sold separately, you're also going to have a hex bolt kit. These are made out of solid titanium, really nice clean finish, really nice clean design. It comes in a set of three. And these are gonna actually be direct replacements for the stock bolts in the car. And on top of that, you're also going to have an additional install kit that you can also purchase separately. This one is going to replace all the gas kits and you also get two O-rings that come with the kit. And lastly, you're gonna have this top bolt. This is going to mount directly to the top of the oil thermostat and it's gonna be used to secure the oil lines of the car directly to the oil thermostat itself. Now, to make sure we have enough space to take off this thermostat, we're gonna go ahead and take off the air intake and also the engine cover just to make sure I have enough clearance and just to make everything easier. Now, before we go ahead and remove the stock oil thermostat, you're probably going to wonder why we have so many rugs. And just because, guys, this is going to get a little bit messy. In order to prevent any oil spilling onto any of the belts that we have in the engine, I went ahead and lined it with a few rugs and a few plastic bags just to make sure that everything is nice and tight. The removal process of this is going to be pretty straightforward. The center top bolt is holding the oil lines in place. When we take this out, we're going to try and wiggle the oil lines down. From there, we can go ahead and remove the three E12 bolts bolts one two and three and after that is just the easy part pulling the oil thermostat off probably gonna wiggle it a little bit more take it off and then from there clean everything up install the new gaskets and put the new oil thermostat on This is where it might get a little bit messy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and just like that, guys, we have a mess. But good thing we have some plastic bags. I wasn't expecting it to come out that much. Just gotta be very, very careful going forward. All right, let's just leave that in for now and then remove the other bolts and then we can go ahead and pull the oil line off. All right, 
gonna have to move this oil line out of the way in order to get to the last to the last bolts now it is going to be dripping and try to do this as quickly as possible try and catch this bolt make sure it doesn't fall out okay now what we need to do is be very swift with how we take this out to reduce the amount of oil that's going to come out of the oil filter housing okay oops as much as we can all right so now that we have the old oil thermostat out we're just gonna go ahead and remove the oil gasket and also the o-rings and then we can go ahead and put the new one in and this one actually is in pretty good shape surprisingly now the car has about 56,000 miles on it so not too bad See got the O-rings is in there, I don't want it to just pop out. I guess there's only one way you can go in based on the shape. Before I go ahead and install the oil thermostat, I just wanted to show you guys like look how gorgeous this piece is. This is solid aluminum so it has a pretty decent weight onto it and I just wanted to show you guys what the back of it looks like and what was really interesting is as you guys can see on the stock one it has indentations that go directly into the thermostat whereas on the muscle man version it's a solid piece so that's very interesting to see. too much because there is a torque spec for these bolts so Masterman recommends to tighten it down to 18 newton meters stock configuration would be about 16 so pretty close and then for the top bolt that's going to secure the oil line that's going to be 8 newton meters of torque All right, now as you guys can see, the Muscleman oil thermostat is all bolted up. Just gonna go ahead and double check, make sure there aren't any other leaks. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and put back in the air intake, the engine cover, crank it up, make sure everything's good to go and we'll be complete. shooting some final shots for the b-roll sun's going down so i just want to make this outro nice and quick 
and share our thoughts on what I think of the Muscleman oil thermostat thus far. Alright and there you guys have it, the install is complete and I must say I am super pleased with how it turned out and just look at how beautiful this thing is in the engine bay, complements everything really nicely. Some of you will notice that there is an additional strut brace here, I'll get a little bit into that in a future episode but just wanted to focus on how the Masterman is. As I showed you the installation was pretty easy but the real test is going to be once we have it on the street, on the track. Yeah but overall I'm very pleased with Masterman and the product so far, again big shout out to you guys, really quality parts we're really looking forward to testing this once we do our upcoming track day as you guys know we are prepping the car for that and you guys will definitely want to stay tuned because in the next episode we're actually going to be doing a brake service on the car and i think that's going to be the final piece of the puzzle before we get set to hit the track as usual i will leave a link for the muscle man oil thermostat in the description so if you guys are interested make sure you guys go ahead and make a purchase again they have applications for the n55 motor and the s55 motor so so if you're someone who's looking to keep your oil temps nice and stable then this is definitely the part to get well i think that's going to do it for today's episode as usual make sure you guys like share and subscribe if you guys are interested in anything about the muscle man thermostat make sure to leave some comments let us know down below and i hope we'll be able to add some more muscle man parts to this build but for now guys i think that's going to do it as usual thank you guys for tuning in stay tuned for the next one and until then guys we're gone